I got a more serious video coming out, but I want to chime in on a game that's going to go away soon. I'm probably the most qualified person to talk about this game. I've only spent like 400 hours playing Overwatch, so I'm pretty an expert when it comes to everything about it. Sometimes I wait an hour to find a match just because I wanted to DPS as Bastion. So you know people, of course, were shitting on me for it. I've only played like five characters at most, but let me tell you, characters like Soldier 70 sucks, sucks hard, and Han sucks are pretty popular characters, but you know, they, know, they suck. All jokes aside, Overwatch is one of the most enjoyable multiplayer games I've played. It's fast paced and really leans into the zany fun with the whole package. The power ups when ignited properly feel powerful and weighty. The many different characters are all vibrant and just so full of personality. They even put in deep lore into them. My friend group convinced me to buy this game at the full $60 MSRP on the PS Store lab out last year or so. And over the last few months, we were just having a blast. A final hurrah, if you will. Overwatch is and pretty soon was one of these premier multiplayer games before live service entertainment took over. It's a pretty fun and complex. And if you're feeling brave, you can chat with other players online but it's a cesspool, so it's cool if you don't. I won't say anything new or different than the millions of other people in the world that have said about this game. It's one of the biggest games that released in the past six years, and it's a well-made game, and it's fun as hell. I don't know what Blizzard is going to do with Overwatch 2. It's probably going to be pretty cool and a fun game. I know they're focusing on co-op and stuff, which should at the very least be interesting. We'll see. I do love that they're changing the team dynamic from six players to five players. Shout out to all the six person who's gonna get out, kicked out of the group chat for it. It will be interesting to see how team dynamics will be since well there'll be one tank two dps and two support i haven't played the beta so i can't say much about it right now i think a pretty big issue that blizzard is going to have to navigate through is just how overwatch one is just going to be done finished blizzard will permanently shut down any semblance of overwatch one and have it repackaged as overwatch two once october 4th rolls up your copy of the original overwatch is gone and replaced with a big old two it's funny because apparently there are many people that do not know this at all and blizzard has been pretty bad at explaining it so i guess i hope they get their support staff ready for next week i'd imagine there's going to be people trying to play this game all the way to the last possible second which is just a couple like a day or two before overwatch 2 gets released officially um i guess these are the consequences of living in this day and age of how entertainment works live service is here to stay free to play and pay to win games are the immediate future we see this going on with legacy mainstains like halo infinite being a live service of sorts and call of duty mixing it up with warzone not saying this is bad or so just that that's how the video game world works it's a big business and it makes big business decisions overwatch 2 is going to be a success i mean if you want to play overwatch that will be the only way to play it after october 4th it's not a bad oh, thing wait, i guess I just something oh, that will shit. probably have growing pains and once all the kinks are sorted out we'll play overwatch 2 and forget that overwatch 1 was ever a thing but hey this is a good buy i've had some great memories and had an absolute blast playing this game with friends too many laughs moments of disgust and a lot of trolling done farewell overwatch 1 may your spirit carry on for the new generation Victory. Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles have been seeing each other on set. And like, they were like delaying movie sets and stuff like that though. Or playing like shooting just because they were like, you know, in the back, like messing around or whatever and stuff like that. I don't know. So they were delaying movie shoots. <laughs> they were playing hide the Harry. Olivia Wilde was playing hide the Harry. 